Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some very important things that you're gonna need to know about your new DJI FPV drone. There were a lot of things that I had to learn along the way when I first got it, and I wanna share those things with you, just because if you're watching this, you probably don't own one yet, and you plan on owning one soon. So these are just things that you're gonna need to know, and this is a video that you can reference when you first get your drone, so that it's a little bit easier than it was for me when it comes to setting up. So let's get started with the actual quad itself. I'm gonna move these things out of the way, put the quad right here. So here it is, this is the DJI FPV drone. And I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the gimbal cover. If you've never removed the gimbal cover before, it can be kind of difficult. If you don't know what you're doing, you might think that you're breaking your drone. When I first took this off, it was very hard to take off very difficult but now that i've kind of broken it in it's very easy so if this looks like a piece of cake that's why when you first get yours just know that you might have to put a little bit more force and effort into taking it off but you just put your thumb here in this groove and then you grab it from the top and you pull down and then you pull out from the top and that's how you take your gimbal cover off to get it on you enter the top this piece right here in first just like this and it's back on, it's that easy. So that is how to take the gimbal cover off. I'm gonna show you guys the SD card slot. So with the SD card, it's gonna be right here at the bottom. And all you're gonna wanna do is just grab it and pull it out and then pull it down. See how it has like a lot of room to come down? And now you can actually put your SD card in right there or when your SD card's already in after your flight, instead of taking it out, you can actually insert a USB-C cable into here and then into your Mac or PC to extract the footage from the drone. So that's really cool. Now, one thing I do wanna say is that getting this SD card in to this slot was kind of difficult. It needs to be like pushed in a little bit deeper than it appears. So what I used for that was basically like the edge of a credit card or the prong on my phone charger right here to just push that SD card in a little bit deeper so you hear it click into place. And also one thing you wanna make sure is that you're putting the SD card in the right way. There's a little picture right here which shows you exactly how your SD card should look when you're putting it into the drone. So just keep that in mind as well. So the next thing that you probably wanna know is the battery. So the battery is located in the back of the drone and to turn it on, you just press this down and then let release, then press it again and hold it for a second. And then you'll see the lights turn on. So that goes just like this. So that is normal. That is exactly what you'll hear when you turn your drone on. And when you go to turn it off, press down, press again and hold, and it'll turn off for you. That is how easy it is to turn the drone on and off. Now to remove the battery, all you do is go to this little piece right here on the back, pull it out, just like this, it can be a little stiff. Once that is pulled out, on the bottom here, you'll see a little piece here and a little piece here. You just press those in and then the battery will now gently slide out. Well, maybe not gently, that was a little bit more than gentle, but you know, it comes out with a little bit of force there. And then to plug it into the charger, it's real easy. It plugs in right here, and that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna pop that back in. Again, very easy to do. Push this into place, and boom, there, there you go. Now the battery's back in. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to remove and put your propellers back on. I'm gonna show you guys with just one side of the drone. So as you can see, one of the propellers has a red circle and one of them doesn't. And you're gonna notice that it corresponds on the actual motor itself. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like red on the motor and there's red on the propeller. That means that those two match up with each other and also on the propeller you're going to see to lock it you turn it clockwise to unlock it you turn it counterclockwise so what i like to do is just grab the motor so that it doesn't spin on me and then i take my fingers like this push down on the prop hold the motor turn it 
counterclockwise and then it comes off. To put it back on, I do the same exact thing, except instead of counterclockwise, I go clockwise and now it's locked. And it's basically the same for the other propellers too. Just make sure you're lining up the proper propeller. So this one, no red circle, no red on the motor. So we're good. This one goes there. And it's that easy to put the propellers on and to take them off. I'd recommend taking the propellers off whenever you run a software update or whenever you just turn on the drone inside. And unless your intentions is to fly it inside, then obviously you need the propellers on, right? But I'm just saying like, you don't want this thing to take off on you unexpectedly. And it probably won't. It's a very advanced piece of technology, but it's just good to take precautions, right? And now we're gonna move the actual FPV drone off to the side and we're gonna talk about the goggles version two here which is what you're gonna need to use when you're flying your DJI FPV drone. This is exactly how you're gonna see out of the camera. So one of the biggest newbie things that you're probably gonna laugh at me about, but some of you actually might be in the same boat as I, as I was, but when I opened these up, I was like, where does the battery go? How do you charge these? I actually plugged these in to the charger thinking that it was charging the goggles and then I realized there's no indicator light anywhere that's flashing or on or anything of that nature. So I realized these are probably not charging. And then I read the instruction manual, which no one does. And in the instruction manual, it actually said that the goggles had like a separate battery. So I found that separate battery. So once I figured that out, I was trying to figure out, okay, where do I put it into the goggles? Then I realized that there's a whole entire cable that actually plugs into the battery and that cable then plugs into the goggles and this battery goes in your pocket. So the goggles don't actually have any battery in them, which is actually kind of smart because say they did have a battery in it and that battery just like exploded one day because batteries totally do that. Um, that would be a major problem if it exploded on your face and more specifically in the region of your eyes, then you'd go blind. But that's just one thing that I've thought of that is a possibility as to why they didn't put the battery in the goggles. Um, and also another reason too is just like lightweight, you know, batteries like this, this battery right here is kind of heavy. So it probably gives these more of a lightweight feel. That's probably more along the lines of what they were thinking versus your face exploding. But it basically just plugs in like that. And then this end right here goes into the goggles, which is right here, right here. Push that in and you're all set. Once that battery's turned on, now you've got power to your goggles. So that's really cool. I actually like that a lot. Now, another thing that you should probably know about the goggles is that you can adjust the focus of what you're looking at. So inside of here, you'll see these two lenses here. These are obviously what you look into to see the screen. You can actually adjust where these are. See how the left one is sliding? And that will help you focus in on what you're looking at on the screen. So I just wanted to note that for the newbie that has no idea what they're doing. Another thing that you should probably know is that the goggles do have a micro SD card slot. This could be very useful for if you crash the drone, now you actually have a copy of the recording on the goggles, which then you can use to help you find the drone and where it actually crashed. Say like if find my drone wasn't working, which I hear for most people, it doesn't work like 90% of the time. That was probably a good thing to have is to just buy like a little SD card to put in there. Um, it's probably not like, as great of footage obviously that comes from the drone but it's something to have just in case and the last thing i want to tell you about is about the remote and some of the important things with this because this is you know really the control station of the whole operation basically right over here you'll see your uh, joysticks which are very easy to pull out and to screw into place just like this screw these in which i'm doing a horrible job at so now that we got those screwed into place you can see it's kind of just like a mavic controller or even a phantom controller they're both you know spring-loaded joysticks here but this left one right here you can actually peel this back panel off turn with the screwdriver that comes with the drone itself you can turn a little screw in there and it'll prevent this one right here from being spring-loaded 
And so when you move it like down, it'll stay down. When you move it up, it'll stay up. This is for the manual flyers. So I'm not, like I said in my first impressions video, I'm not at that level yet. I haven't even flown manual yet. So I haven't messed with that, but that is how you get the full FPV functionality is by taking the back of this off and twisting that screw. Other than that, it's basically like any other remote. It does have some unique buttons for the FPV drone, like the normal flight mode, sport flight mode, and manual flight modes. Um, the return to home button is over here. I haven't used this yet, but this looks like some kind of toggle of some sort. Haven't touched it yet, so I, I can't even say what that button really is. Um, this is your shutter button for taking pictures and recording video. Up at the top here is the start stop button. This is for when you're flying manual. It's kind of like the brake that they've advertised with this drone. Like if you are losing control of the drone because flying in manual is very difficult then this will be a lifesaver for you. It certainly will be for me once I decide to take that step. Um, oh yeah, over here is to control the gimbal like on any other drone from DJI. Then you got the C1 button, which I'm guessing is a customizable button. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice controller. It kind of reminds me of a like game console controller. But those are just some like basic things that you should know about this setup right here. I'm gonna have other videos where I dive into the software and you know try my best to like show you guys some of my favorite settings and those things. And you're also gonna see a lot more cinematic videos here on the channel. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, lots of exciting content on the way surrounding this new bad boy. I'm really, really excited about this drone and I'm excited as to what I'm going to be able to capture with it. Um, but yeah, guys, also check out my first impressions video where I go over some other important information about this drone. But anyway, guys, if you liked what you saw here today and want to see more about drones and FPV, definitely hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up because that will help the video rank higher in the algorithm. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.